Welcome to my YouTube channel. As climate change intensifies, we must be prepared to face the challenges posed by natural phenomena like El Niño. El Niño's effects can be severe, impacting livelihoods and communities. In this video, we will provide you with essential tips on how to cope with and prepare for El Niño. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative content on climate resilience and sustainability. Before El Niño strikes, it's crucial to be proactive and make necessary preparations. Let's take a look at some helpful ways to get ready for this phenomenon. Monitor weather forecasts and advisories. Stay informed by keeping an eye on weather forecasts and advisories issued by authorities like Pagasa. Being aware of El Niño conditions and the expected impacts in your region will enable you to make informed decisions and take necessary precautions. Store enough water and food supplies. El Niño can cause water scarcity, so it's vital to store enough water in clean containers. Consider collecting rainwater for non-potable uses. Also, stock up on non-perishable food items to ensure an adequate food supply during potential disruptions. Install water-saving devices at home. Conserve water by installing water-saving devices such as aerators on faucets and low-flow showerheads. This simple step can make your household more resilient to water shortages. Take care of your physical health. El Niño can trigger epidemics of diseases associated with the hot season, like cholera, chikungunya, and Zika virus. Protect your health by drinking clean water, getting necessary vaccines, and wearing insect repellent. Coping with El Niño requires us to be vigilant and prioritize our well-being. Here are some effective coping strategies. Stay cool and hydrated. During El Niño, temperatures can soar. Keep your body temperature cool by staying in well-ventilated spaces or using fans or air conditioning. Drink plenty of water throughout the day to stay properly hydrated. Avoid outdoor activities during the hottest hours. Minimize exposure to extreme heat by staying indoors during late morning to early afternoon, the hottest hours of the day. If you must go out, seek shaded areas and take frequent breaks in cool or air-conditioned spaces. Wear protective clothing and sunscreen. Shield yourself from the sun's harmful rays by wearing lightweight, light-colored, and loose-fitting clothing when outside. Don't forget to apply sunscreen with a high sun protection factor to exposed areas like your face, neck, arms, and legs. Contribute to sustainability solutions. El Niño affects everyone, and we all play a role in combating it. Engage in sustainability programs, such as supporting tree planting initiatives. Together, we can reforest the Philippines, one tree at a time. Collaborate with local authorities. If you have the time and resources, consider collaborating with your local government or a disaster management agency to share information, create strategies, and encourage civilian participation in climate change solutions. As we face the challenges of El Niño, remember that being prepared and informed is the key to resilience. By taking proactive measures and practicing coping strategies, we can beat the El Niño heat and protect ourselves, our communities, and the environment. Before we end, we'd like to thank you for watching this video. If you found the information helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content on climate resilience and sustainability. Remember, we all have a role to play in safeguarding our planet for future generations. Join hands with us in GLOBE as we work towards a greener and more sustainable future. Together, we can make a significant difference. Stay safe and see you in the next video.